Okay, so we're starting a segment called Ask Chris. I don't have all the answers, but I'll try and give you whatever answers I have or, or can find. Um, we have a question from a while ago. Uh, well, not that long ago, but anyway. Uh, they asked, uh, what mango varieties have we eliminated? Because, you know, we have about 80 varieties and you have to really have a good reason to have each variety because it is, it complicates your life. Uh, all these, you know, keeping the mangoes straight and, um, you know, when you're selling them and, you know, making sure that you know enough about the trees and the conditions that it likes and all that kind of thing and that you can strongly re recommend each variety to um, your customers. So anyway, here's my uh, list of eight mango varieties that we have eliminated. Uh, the first four were a while ago. Um, the Bayanado, Lancetia, Dominica, and East Indian. And uh, the Vianado and Lancetia were both curator's choice at Fairchild Tropical Gardens. The Vianado was from Colombia, and uh, it might taste different in Colombia. Very productive tree, uh, you know, pretty mangoes, but people did not like the flavor. Uh, Lancetia makes a large mango, very large mango. Uh, they can get up to seven pounds, and the problem with you know, it was a, it was a nice flavor. You know, it was nothing truly exceptional. But the um, the problem with large mangoes is that a lot can happen um, to them because they're on the tree for so long, getting big. So anyway, I just didn't think it was uh, worth growing that one. Uh, you know, people do not want to invest a huge amount of money because you know, of course, the mangoes are sold for a pound and. So anyway, that one went. Uh, Dominica was a variety that I got from the west coast of Florida. And I don't think that was its true name, but that's what the, uh, the name that they, they sold it under uh, was from the Dominican Republic uh, productive tree, but really not the taste and texture that we were looking for. And the last one was East Indian. East Indian is a very popular mango uh, in Jamaica. I'm sure other places also, but it seems like our Jamaican customers are always asking for it. And it just didn't do well. Uh, the tree always looked like it was struggling and it was never a pretty looking tree. And I don't think we ever got fruit from it. I got tired of it and took it out. And since I did take it out, I've talked to a lot of growers that say that it's like one out of three years that the East Indian will, in Florida, will actually taste like it should. So those first four trees, we took out the whole tree and then planted new trees. Then the, uh, more recently, when I decided to, uh, that a variety was not what we were looking for, we used those um, as uh, rootstock, basically, top worked the trees to other varieties. Uh, you get an uh, established tree a lot faster, you get uh, production from a uh, new variety a lot faster if you graft onto it. So anyway, uh, those last four that we eliminated were Irwin, which is an old Florida variety. It's, um, it's a good mango, it's very popular in Japan because they can actually grow them in greenhouses in Japan. I've seen pictures of like 40 year old trees that have been trained, you know, with all this lateral growth and they, you know, take care of each mango, support it and everything. And, and those mangoes are sold in Japan and it really fits the, the Japanese palate. And so um, that's great. Uh, it's, I'm glad they're, it's popular there, but not popular here. Uh, Joellen, uh, that was a curator's choice too, I believe. and. Um, it's, I had one customer who liked it and another customer who liked it green. Not enough reason to keep a whole tree. So um, top work that also. And uh, Tommy Atkins, I had somebody in the mango industry strongly recommend that I plant a Tommy Atkins tree. He thought my collection would not be complete without it. And that Tommy Atkins that are grown locally and allowed to mature on the tree taste completely different from the ones that you're buying in the store that are imports. 
Uh, this is true, but even the best Tommy Atkins that we had was just not good enough. Um, it, you know, it might be great for dehydrating. A lot of varieties are great for dehydrating. So anyway, that one was top worked. And then the last was Jubilee, which is a gorgeous mango. Everybody marveled at the, the appearance of it when we had it for sale, but it just didn't measure up taste-wise. So uh, I want people to really enjoy the whole experience, just not the visual one. So that one got top worked to um, Juliet and Best. And uh, so anyway, that's about it, except for I want to mention that I am standing in front of the former Joellen tree, which is, is here, and everything else up above is Kerry mango. And you know, of course, Kerry is a very popular mango, so I think most of our customers are happy with the choice that I decided to, to eliminate Joellen and add more Kerry. So anyway, I hope that answers your question. Send in more questions. We're happy to try and answer whatever is on your mind that's related to mangoes or anything that Truly Tropical does or grows. Thanks again.